This week's Up for Debate is not about goaltending, so you're welcome. Uh -huh. Instead, it is about which young guy has stepped up and impressed you most lately. Marco Rossi, Matt Boldy, or Connor Dewar? Uh, three selections. Alexis, this is your uh, wheelhouse. Not bad selections. I understand why you chose those selections, but who? Uh, let's let you go first. Who do you think has impressed you the most? Well, I tried to go with three guys who've been getting a lot of attention as far as the hockey circle here in Minnesota goes and who people have been talking about. Um, I know a lot of people have been really high on Connor Dewar, and I think it was even D Dean, I think, said in a post-game press conference that he was, like, most impressed by Connor Dewar. Um, yeah. I think it was after the Washington game, if I remember correctly. Because I asked um, him about it, so you're welcome. Yes, you did. That. Well done, Jesse. Well done. <laughs> way to get the way to get all the info out of Dean Evison. Um, <laughs> so I know a lot of people, including Dean, are very high on Connor Dewar, and I I really liked what he's done, but I've been most impressed by Matt Boldy. And we, this kind of goes back to what we talked about with Chris Peters in segment two is like, he just so seamlessly fit in with the pace of NHL. And to me, that is one of the hardest things for guys transitioning from either college or HL into the NHL. Because again, like Chris said, <laughs> I'm going to repeat a lot of things Chris said, but this is why I picked him as well. I mean, you can have the skill, you can have the speed, you can have all of that, but if you can't blend in with the pace of it, you're going to stand out no matter how good you are. And I thought that Matt Boldy just so seamlessly fit in and looked good doing it and was contributing to offensive plays, scored a goal in his first game. I mean, that's really hard to stand out in your first game like that. And I think even aside from him scoring a goal, like even if he went to score a goal in that Boston game, I still would have been really impressed with what he did. So to me, that's why Matt Boldy has impressed me the most. And he's obviously impressed the coaches because it looks like he's going to be here to stay um, for a little while, but I, I really like Connor Dewar as well. And I'm excited to see Marco Rossi develop a little bit more um, and uh, step his game up in the NHL. How about you, Jesse? I mean, Matt Boldy, I think is the obvious, probably fan favorite decision. Uh, but I will kind of counter saying he hasn't impressed me because I kind of expected this out of him. Mm -hmm. I have been a fan of his honest to God, since they <laughs> drafted him. Like I've just, I've seen him at world juniors again. You guys know I'm a big USA hockey gal. Um, so I just, I've known he's had this in him and I've loved his patience in developing. And, and I mean, I'm really not surprised that he's transitioned as seamlessly mm -hmm. as, as he has. So fair point. I'm going to go with Connor Dewar then too, also for the sake of just being a little bit different. Um, like you had mentioned, Dean had said that because Dean kind of dropped that on us before practice one day and just said, you know, that all this being said, Connor Dewar has <laughs> really impressed me most. And we kind of let it be. And so then I followed <laughs> up with him at the next avail. And I was like, what is it about him? I mean, I've noticed him. He's fast. That kid yeah. can fly. And I absolutely love that. And if you guys haven't noticed, that's been a big part of the Minnesota Wilds game is using that speed and using that zone entry to really just get in and push the puck and push the pace of play. So, um, I, I do, I like what I've seen of him. He's a very quiet kid. We, uh, mm -hmm. I actually requested to interview him and still kind of learning the ins and outs. You can tell he's not used to being in that position, but um, as Chris said, Tim Army does such a tremendous job developing players down in Iowa, and he is a product of that. So I'm excited to see more of him. I think he'll continue to get more ice time, especially now again with Jules Eriksson out. I'm sure he's kind of slots back in. So I'm I'm excited to see what he can really bring. And again, he's a guy that they're going to be turning to to step up into these these holes that need to be filled while they need to be filled. And I mean, hate to tell you guys, the COVID isn't going away. Yeah. So you're probably going to have more holes continue throughout the season where guys like Dewar are going to have stuff. You might see, you know, Adam Beckman come mm -hmm. in possibly fingers crossed. I don't know. Um, Kyle Rao, obviously on the taxi squad, stuff like that. So Victor Rask on the taxi squad too. Mm -hmm. You guys didn't know. Yes, Fred. A quick random question that just came to my mind. Is this probably the best thing that can happen for the Minnesota wild when it comes to like next year and the years prior with cap problems? Like you're seeing a ton of prospects get a bunch of looks that they normally wouldn't get. I mean, yeah, I suppose in a sense, right? So you're, you're handcuffed under the cap for the next four years, I think three or four years, unless one of them retires. I mean, with that buyout of Parisi and Suter. So yeah, I mean, you, you know, and these guys right now would be cheap, right? They're, mm -hmm. they're under that space. So yeah, I mean, I don't think it hurts by any means. That's a great question. You know, I'm not super great with the numbers thing, you know, two plus two equals five in some white cases. Bear math. Mm -hmm. I'm from Matamita. Yeah. <laughs> just uh, throws white bear like under the bus. White bear, so, like, ah, I mean, like can. white bear. Yeah, that 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 adds up. Like white bear mouth and boom. Matamita <laughs> elite. So uh, yeah, I don't know though. I mean, I'm sure. I think it bodes well just in general for these guys to get this valuable experience, and it just proves that Minnesota knows what it's doing when it comes to development. As we've said time and time again, they haven't had a good team down in Iowa. They haven't had 
a team that's more than just AHL guys. And that's okay. I mean, there are some guys that AHL is the highest that level that you can play, mm-hmm. but right now you're seeing guys that have that capability to really transition tremendously well. And that's not just your high draft picks. It's guys that are developed in the AHL system, like Connor Dewar, you know, I mean, it's not just Matt Boldies and Marco Rossi's they're turning out guys to be better than maybe they even thought they were and, and peaking beyond. So um, it's exciting. And I, I do, I think it's good. I think it's, you know, everybody wants to go to the game and see the roster regulars that they know and love, but it's exciting to get a peek at the future because as everyone, including Bill himself is saying, you know, the next five years, it's going to be pretty exciting to be a Minnesota wild fan. Yeah. I, I don't have much to add to that. Cause I, you, you hit all the nails on the head. Yeah. There's a lot of positives here as much as it stinks. Like you said, to not have some of those regulars in the lineup, you know, the, the Matt, the, the guys that everyone wants to come see, uh, but people are equally as excited. I think about seeing a guy like Matt Boldy as someone like, you know, Kirill Kaprizov yeah. and I don't, you know, Kirill Kaprizov obviously is a star here, but like you said, Jesse, you've been such a big fan of somebody like Matt Boldy for so long that finally seeing him, there is a certain sense yeah. of excitement there um, that does equal some of those those regular guys on the team. So um, it does stink, but there is some positives, both with some cap stuff, like Fred, you mentioned, and with just some flexibility that you have that the Wild have never really had before in their history. So um, it's a, a little bittersweet uh, moment in the season here where you get some positives and some negatives all at the same time.